we now uh, have some evidence over a, 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 a project that some colleagues have been running uh, over the last four years, Lee, 24 different institutions, where they have demonstrated how the e-portfolio, this more than a record keeping electronic tool can be used to enrich the quality of student learning. So the e-portfolio is indeed a longitudinal place where students can uh, store artifacts of their work, authentic student work, quality of writing, project reports, uh, presentations, and so forth and so on. So you've got this digital uh, record-keeping system. But the e-portfolio, its major effects come as students interrogate their own learning in the company, perhaps, of their advisor or a faculty mentor, uh, even with other students. And students, depending upon how the e-portfolio is structured, uh, they can allow their peers, their teachers, uh, advisors, even prospective employers, to look inside, you know, this, I don't know, I don't, toolbox is not quite the right word. So the great advantage of e-portfolio is uh, not only does it provide a repository where a student can see how far they've come, how they've changed, how, how they're different, uh, how much better uh, a writer they are, the clarity and so forth. Um, but others can see it as well. Uh, and it's portable. So many students, you know, we're now upwards of what? Uh, almost two thirds of students attend more than one institution on the way to the baccalaureate. So if a student, is a, uh, let's say, attends three or four institutions, this is not a trivial number. Maybe a quarter of students today do so. How do you, how do you sum up, how do you take a look at four, transcripts from four different places and say, uh, here's an authentic representation of what the student knows and can do. The academic transcript actually has never been very good <laughs> with that, uh, and that's why uh, people often uh, will want to see narratives. And, and of course, the academic transcript, you know, even if a student, him or herself, looks at that and then is visiting with an employer, and the employer says, well, now, what did you really learn in college? You can't just look at an academic transcript and, 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 and uh, find that to be a useful set of prompts. Well, the e-portfolio is that because it is an ongoing process of reflection, digestion, integration, if it's well-designed and structured. And of course, that's the key to all, the power of all these so-called high-impact practices. And, and in fact, the impact of any class lab studio. How, how well is it designed? And are we asking students to uh, represent what it is they know and learn through the nature of assignments? that we ask them to complete and so on. So I think ePortfolio, uh, we now say, uh, and now there are 11, uh, we think we have enough data. Uh, these are not the only, these 10 now 11, these are not the only potentially high impact practices, but I think we're gonna be hearing more and more about ePortfolio. Uh, this is, idea has been around 20 or more years and, and other kinds of portfolios. I mean, the artist, you know, how, did, how does someone in the creative arts present their work? They've been doing this for centuries, really a portfolio of work. Well, the analog here is that virtually every major field, every student, in fact, could benefit from having such a, uh, such a representation. And the key here is the reflective component and how this can be used in an intentional way to deepen and meaning of understanding of what, what the student, him or herself, uh, now knows and can do.